The water crisis in Shimla is a warning for India. What's causing the water shortage? What are the administrative failures that led to water crisis? What needs to be done to address this issue? GS Paper 3 Conservation In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from HindustanTimes.com dated May 30th, 2018. What is the context about? The capital of Himachal Pradesh is in the midst of a major water crisis as the city is reported to have a run out of water during the peak tourist season. Shimla, India's most visited hill station, is facing a shortage of water for the past eight days. Amid the situation in the city, the Himachal Pradesh High Court on Monday took Suomoto notice of the crisis and has asked whether any new construction should be allowed to come up within the municipal limits. What's causing the water shortage? Due to deficient precipitation during winter, the major water sources have either gone fully or partially dry. And despite a number of small and big rivers flowing through the state, successive governments have done nothing to lift water from these perennial sources. Old leaky pipes are the reason behind the loss of a significant amount of water. On an average, 15,000 to 20,000 tourists visit Shimla every day during the peak tourist season. The resident population of the city is 2.2 lakh, while tourist arrivals over the weekend reaches 25,000 to 30,000. This increasing number is adding on the pressure over the water situation in the city. The illegal construction that takes place across the city is also the place where water is frequently pilfered for use, along with hotels that draw extra water. As a result, the common man is left to face the shortage of water almost every year. What are the administrative failures that led to water crisis? There is no attempt at the central or state levels to manage water quantity and quality. A lack of implementation of existing laws and regulations, pervasive corruption, poor adoption rates of technologies such as desalinization, plants, no charges on water usage and huge distribution losses. Add to this deforestation of catchment areas and pollution of water bodies, export of water-intensive crops and excessive dependence on groundwater. There is also a lack of interest in maintaining India's traditional water harvesting structures. What needs to be done to address this issue? In India, water is on the state list, which means states can make their own laws. But there is a feeling in the central government that water should be brought under the concurrent list though states are opposed to the idea. But for now, urban India needs to focus on recycling and harvesting water, having better testing and purification facilities and increase public awareness on the need to conserve water. India will have to get its act together on urban water. Otherwise, Shimla-like incidents will recur across the country.